Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Bethel. And to our visitors, we are so glad you are a part of the, the Bethel, Bethel experience. experience. Two of Bethel's Girl Scouts, Denver Hunt, and Amira Hancock were honored for working to better themselves and the world around them. Our Boy Scouts were recognized too. Spencer Webster Bass as an Eagle Scout, Keyshawn Massey, a Life Scout, and Marcus Michael as a Star Scout. We are so proud of you. Our young people need your help to continue the work they're doing in the community. The Oasis Children's Ministry is collecting prescription eyeglasses for the Duval County Schools Vision Program. Please bring any used glasses or cases and donate them at the Oasis check-in point or drop them off at the church office. Oasis is also kicking off its Family Worship at Home project. This is a 12-month program for families who want to make discipleship a lifestyle in their homes. The first 50 families to sign up get the packages for free. See Elder Rosemary or call the church office for more information. Men of Bethel, make sure you're here next Saturday, April 29th, for this month's G3 Men's Breakfast. Through his death, Jesus has given us the keys to the kingdom, but men, what are you doing with them? Join us at 8.30 a.m. for a good discussion and good food. Remember, the men who go are the men that grow. On Saturday, April 29th, the focus will be on health here at Bethel. Join us for the Spring Into Good Health Community Health and Wellness Fair. It's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the multi-purpose room. The Saga Ladies Ministry is doing its part to help families in our area who need it. Over the next few weeks, Saga will be collecting items like cleaning supplies for the Ronald McDonald House for Families, which offers support to families while their children receive medical care. Then on Saturday, May 6th at 10 a.m., make sure you join the ladies of Saga as they deliver those items. Call the church office for more details. This year, Bethel's Mental Health Ministry will be a part of the 35th Annual Mental Health and the Black Community Conference, and you're invited to come out. On May 11th, Bethel is hosting the Points of Excellence Awards Dinner. And on May 12th, Bishop Jr. will be leading a session at Edward Waters on mental health and the ministry. Bishop session and all sessions at EWC are free and open to the public. The 20th Annual Judy Lawson Walkathon is June 17th, and this year, in addition to walkers, we're looking for people to help us make this walk the best one ever. If you have any ideas on how we can bring out more walkers and reach our fundraising goals for student scholarships, please call the church office. There is so much going on at Bethel, and you can learn more about our ministries and how you can get involved at www.thebethelexperience.com and on our social media pages. April is Autism Awareness Month and Bethel is partnering with the UF Jacksonville Center for Autism and Related Disabilities for a toy drive. Boxes will be located in the vestibule and the children's ministry. A new class of advanced teacher training is forming right now. If you're interested in taking your knowledge of the Word of God to the next level, call Elder Karen Woodson at the church office to register. And the Deaf Ministry at Bethel needs volunteers to serve as American Sign Language interpreters. You can call the church office at 904-354-1646 or stop by between services. The Bethel Counseling Ministry is here to help if you need it for free. It's completely confidential. Just call 904-633-2091. We love having you with us. The Bethel Church comes together for a corporate prayer call every day at 6.52 a.m. Monday is family, Tuesday finance, Wednesday health, Thursday business, and Friday faith. The number is 1-855-200-2020. Bethel also meets here Sunday mornings at 745 and 1040 and Wednesdays at noon and 645 p.m. If you're a first time visitor, please stop by the visitors table in the vestibule before you leave. There is nothing like the Bethel experience. Have a blessed week.